All right, so now we've been working with the unit circle. We found some points on the circle. Now we want to actually use our trig functions a little bit. So this is a big idea. So evaluate the sine, cosine, and tangent of the real number. So I went ahead and put part of our unit circle right here so we could see it. Uh, so it would be in front of us. Again, I hope you've printed that copy off. You've got it in front of you. You'll use this a lot. So it'll, it'll be a good, good friend for you to keep close. So at the very bottom, I don't have it on the screen here just for space, but in the very bottom of that unit circle handout I gave you, I provided a little bit of information. So let me just summarize a couple key things up here for you. Uh, and these are going to be big. So from our unit circle, if I can find my cursor, there it is. So from our unit circle, cosine of any value t is the x-coordinate that we see. Sine of any value t is the y-value that we see. And let me just come over here. Tangent of t is the ratio of those. So it's y over x. So that's what's built into this unit circle for us. So if we look at t equals pi thirds. All we have to do is go find pi thirds. That's 60 degrees, by the way. That's the equivalent. Well, here are the values, okay? So cosine of pi thirds. Let me just write this out here. So cosine of pi thirds equals, well, it's one half because it's the x value. So it is one half. Sine of pi thirds, it's going to be that y value. So it's going to be square root of 3 over 2. And then the last one, tangent of pi thirds. Well, it's the ratio. It's y over x, root 3 over 2 over 1 half. Well, that'll simplify. And I've put this, uh, each of these boxes, most unit circles don't have this, but we do this so much, I thought it'd be nice to have tangent show up on here. So I've already put them on here in the boxes next to each coordinate and simplified it for you. So this one is the square root of 3. Okay, I hope that's kind of making sense. Can you see where those come from? So let's do this one. t equals negative 7 pi 4. So remember for that one, we have to count our way. So negative just means we'd go this way. So 7 pi fourths. 7 pi fourths. Well, if we went this In fact, let's just count it out. So 1... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So negative 7 pi fourths would get us to the exact same place as pi fourths. So I'm looking right here. So now I'm just going to use those values. Let me come back over and write them. So sine of negative 7 pi fourths is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of negative 7 pi fourths. Notice it's the exact same thing, root 2 over 2. And of course, right here, when we divide those, we just get a 1. So tangent of negative 7 pi fourths equals 1. So if they give you an angle or a, a t value, then you just count your way, go find it on the unit circle. The cosine is going to be the x-coordinate, the sine will be the y-coordinate, and then tangent will be that ratio. Now, and the reason they're given t's here, t if we just spread a line along this arc length, it's just to give you a coordinate. Well, this pi 6, this length right here would be pi 6, but this angle would also be pi 6 because we have a radius of one on this circle. So that's, that's one of the cool things about our unit circle. Okay, I'm gonna go have a couple more on the next slide for you to try, so keep your unit circle handy.